Okay, you get this really new feature, which is amazing, which is select object. You can, I can do like this, for example, around this lamp and it's going to detect it and select it. I can just right click and there's this new feature here called delete and field selection. And it's going to work way better than before and it's going to erase this. This is crazy. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramina. I'm a friend photographer living in the USA and I teach Lightroom and Photoshop in an easy way. So let's jump in on all the new features of 2023. So this select object is so cool. I can just go over anything. Like for example, this thing here, this graffiti, I can select it. And I love this new feature. You just right click and it's new, delete and field selection. And you don't get any fringes around it. It works really great. Let's try to, uh, selecting this gentleman here. Right click, delete and field selection. Another really cool new feature is the photo restoration. You go to filter, and if you've got a little cloud here, just download it, click on photo restoration, and I'm just gonna take out the scratch, enhance the face, and it's gonna process on my device, and boom, pretty cool. Of course, you know, I have some more work to do on it, but I love it. This is the before and the after. There's still more work to be done, but it's pretty cool. New feature, which I absolutely love in camera row, you can go, which is the same feature you have now in Lightroom. You can go to filter, camera row. And if you go to the select mode here, you have this new option on people. You see it found that there is uh, four people. So person number one, number two, number three, number four. This is me. I can click on me and I can either have me fully selected or just my hairs, for example, or my skin, my body skin, my eyebrow, eyes, iris, lips, teeth, hair. I can click on my hair. I can create a mask and I can lower the exposure. All these features are of course in Lightroom, which is amazing. I can go here and I can go now to select background and I can make the background brighter or darker. That's so amazing to be able to select the background. I can go here into select object. Yeah, you can create as much mask as you want by people. So I can go back to select people. I can say, okay, I'm gonna take my, uh, my wife and something I wanna create, I wanna uh, select her a skin, create, and I want to make a skin brighter or darker. So you also have object setting mode in camera, which is really cool. I can go here, for example, and you got a brush with a middle mouse. You can make it bigger or smaller. I can select the tree here, for example, and it's going to boom, do a mask just on a tree. I can make them a little bit brighter. That is so cool to do that so fast. You know, I can create a new mask, select object, and then, you know, just select the church here and it's going to make selection of the church and I can make it brighter if I want to. I can make another one, select object, paint over these trees here and it selected the tree and I can make it brighter or darker as I want. Also, they brought in content or we're feeling camera row, which you have in Lightroom now. So you can go here, I can do this. It doesn't work on everything, but on simple object like this, boom, it's going to do a miracle. Mind blowing. If you want to see what's new in Lightroom, just watch this video. You'll see it's really cool. I show it to you in two minutes.